I did this upside down. Give me a break. I think this might be the warmest Colorado mid-December day of all time. I'm not backing that up by any meteorological or scientific data, but I'm just saying it's really warm out. Like I have my gloves on and my beanie just because when I was in my room, I assumed it was gonna be cold and it's like hot. We didn't have class this morning, which is awesome because we have a paper due tonight, which I'm going to write for most of the day today. Um, but we have a 30 minute little Skype session with some CC peers who are at the Paris Climate Talks, which ends tomorrow. So we're going to go chat with them for a bit. That being said, they, they feel like this is the agreement that we should have had in Copenhagen. And to some extent, the, the business is the centrist part, but the, the city's part of it. The... Shout out to this, this space that we're in. Yeah. Don't, don't we look a lot more official than we did last time? <laughs> what, where are you? Don't you love when you're just going through your day and something happens where like you're put on a trajectory where you almost don't have a choice to do something it seems so clear it's a beautiful day out the labyrinth is here and empty i'm gonna walk the labyrinth so let me show you what the labyrinth is you start right here you see this path, you start walking on it, makes you turn, and you literally just follow your path and it guides you to exactly where you're supposed to be. And over the course, if you walk at a slow slash moderate pace, it takes you on just a roller coaster ride back and forth along this whole thing. It takes about 15 minutes until you get to this final bend and it brings you here into the center and the mountains are over there, the sun is at you, there's beautiful symmetry and it's just a really blissful experience. I'm gonna write my paper out here on my little patio. I'm gonna leave you guys probably for the next four hours so that I can finish this. Hey chickies, want some apples? Ah, scratch that plan. I worked for about an hour and a half and actually got a lot of it done. So I'm gonna take a little break and it's Izzy's birthday and um, on the 16th, which is in a week. And don't worry, I already told her that she can't watch this vlog till after her birthday, and she agreed with that. So I'm gonna make her a little birthday package um, to send to her. She's like me, she doesn't like to make a big deal of her birthday, she already told me that. She just wants to treat it as a normal day, but I'm gonna send her a little package. So I bought this at the craft fair. It's a little bat made out of recycled material and hand sewn by this woman named Cynthia. The company's called It's a Sin, and she 3D prints the faces. And obviously, Izzy's channel is Izzy That Fruit Bat, so this is a little fruit bat. And I'm an artist, as you know, I love to draw, so I'm gonna write her a little love letter. I'll send you the link to my YouTube video. Oh. I got a package that I don't quite remember sending to myself. 
Now I remember Emily's new book, The Rawsome Vegan Cookbook. Her Instagram account is This Rawsome Vegan Life. I just looked through this. I mean, the recipes are amazing, low fat, predominantly raw, lightly cooked, but it's like an Instagram orgasm looking through this book. It's crazy. How does she do this? Emily, congratulations. This is gonna be a huge hit. I'll promote the shit out of it. Headed to teach a little yoga, and my friend just said, hey, what kind of yoga do you teach? And I just thought about it for a second, and I said, I teach the yoga of love and devotion, also known as bhakti yoga. I'm gonna miss my yogis over winter break. You guys know how much I love my sacred dinner time. I eat my big bowl of raw foods. I have gratitude where I show, just express, take a moment for all the gratitude that I have to eat this fresh, amazing food. And then I eat my cooked meal and I see what's going on on the computer and I just compress throughout the day's madness and process it and it's a very relaxing, soothing thing for me. But I still have to finish up the last touches of my paper and it's due in about an hour and 15 minutes. So, done. I'm gonna be real, I am feeling very burnt out between school, editing vlogs, recording podcast episodes, I'm doing like three starting tomorrow for the next like 48 hours if all goes well. I'm just feeling very um, tired and overwhelmed a little bit. Um, I think it's okay because it kind of makes sense. The semester is almost over. Everything is sort of accumulating. This is an intense point. And in less than a week, I'll be going home, which will be very relaxing. And I'll have tons of time to do all this stuff. So I'm not at a breaking point, but I'm just warning. I'm not warning you of anything. Just right now, I'm feeling very overwhelmed and tired. Um, I'm going to edit this vlog and then hopefully go to bed and get a good night's rest. So... Thank you for the support, like it means a lot, it's pretty much the only thing driving me is your guys' continuous support and commenting and subscribing and just like sending me love in any form that you do. It means a lot, I'm gonna go love this guy now and cuddle and go to bed. Much love, dream extreme.